Welcome to Love Them Knives. Today, we're talking about the Wee Knife Ferox. Welcome to Love Them Knives channel, LTK here. Guys, this is the Wee Ferox knife. Okay, this is a Goody Van Poppel uh, design. And that's his moniker. I'll give you the link to his website. And uh, you can see the bio on him and all that kind of thing. I mean, a real bladesmith. A guy who was making his own, uh, his own Damascus and doing that back in the 1990s. So... The guy's been at it for years, making custom knives, swords, whatever. Uh, quite the character, apparently, uh, according to what uh, I uh, understood from Zelric, his review on this knife. And so I'll post the link to Zell's re review of the Ferox. He's the Wii knife representative, re representative in the USA. And you should tune into his channel to look at also Apex News and other things that he puts out because he does kind of a general news, uh, knife news uh, video, I think weekly. So great there. This is interesting. They, they made 300 of these. So they are a numbered knife. This one is numbered. It's 183 of 300. I wasn't sure I wanted to get this knife. I looked at it at first and it looks it looks very industrial, doesn't it? It's a big knife. Big knife. But it looks look at I mean look at how industrial it looks. So it's yeah, three and five eighths, maybe three and three quarter ish in there. You know what I mean? Ninety millimeters plus. Maybe 92, 3, 4, somewhere in there. And then mm, 8 and 3 quarter overall. So it's a good size knife. Mm, over 22 centimeters. So yeah, it's a big boy. So let's take a look at some basic stats. Mm, 0.15 something. Mm, 4 millimeter blade uh, stock. Overall, 13 millimeters thick, uh, just a half an inch. So you know what? That's some pretty hefty blade stock on there, but that's about par for the course for Wii knives. I haven't taken this one apart. I would assume there's ceramic bearings, and you know what? I'm not sure. I pulled the... I'll give you the link to White Mountain Knives where... Maybe you can buy one. The problem is right now, uh, it's a limited run of 300, so you may or may not. I'm not sure if he got his in stock when I printed this out yet. So take that link and go see. At least you get 10% off with the LTK discount code. So that would give you a $30 reduction in price, which would be good if he does have one. So we got, we're doubling up on a bunch of stuff in here. Uh, we got some mistake. This, 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 and this is all wrong. Let's start over. 8.8, 3.6, yeah, 4 millimeter. It is Bowler M390. There you go. Flat grind. And it's, uh, handle length is pretty big. So, 5.2 inch handle. Big boy. Uh, let's get uh, fancy out here wherever she went to, she's at the other end of the table, and do a little comparison with the Para 2. Yeah, she's smaller. She's smaller. Eight and a quarter. This is only a half inch bigger, basically. And the, the, the blade should be about the same size, and they look to be close. Aspect ratio changes here. So it looks a little bit more equal. But it's a big knife. It's a big, heavy knife. I'll bet it's heavy. Let's check this out. Big old dog. Oh, 
hundred and almost 178 grams. Yeah, that's that's good size. Yes, yeah, almost 6.3 ounces. It's heavy. You know, I never did check to see if they weight relieved in here, and it doesn't right off the top. Yeah, I mean top and bottom. They did. Wow. So even weight relieving it, and it's eight and three quarters, so it's not, you know, a nine, nine and a half inch knife. 6.3 ounces, still pretty heavy. You know what? Big, tall blade, though. There's a lot of blade material here. And then you have a full length spacer, back spacer, and that's going to add it, too. So this is not a light little carry knife. This is a pretty heavy knife. And this is Bowler M390. But, I mean, it looks really rough and ready, doesn't it? With this bronze. I mean, bronze anno over a stone wash. And you can see all these little, little milled lines here and here. I mean, that does give you some grip. So that's good. Now, ergos. I had to think about it. I was going to say comfort in the hand. Okay, the same thing. Ergos. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. Reverse grip. Yeah, if you get into this choil here just right. Yeah. And you're not pushed up against the flipper tab necessarily either. Now, the biggest thing that hit me when I pulled this knife out of the box and opened it like this, and this is how I do intuitively. Okay, I pull it out of the box, got it in my hand, I'm gonna fire it off, right? Isn't that what you do? Maybe not, maybe you do it like this, okay? If you do it like this, you're in good, better shape than me, because when I do it like this, here's what I feel. I feel it jar when it opens up, and this here, he, you know, these corners, these are part, I guess, of the design had I had my druthers, these would have been at least this one here, and really this and this would have been rounded, because the problem is, it's kind of like that Ontario Knife Company, Carter Squared, there was just hot spots on it, this one, this right here, yeah, it's a hot spot if you're going to sit there and put it into your palm, and then flip the knife open, you're going to feel it. You're going to feel this dig into you. Okay. So, yeah, that's that's unfortunate. And I also noticed that I'm that my my finger is right here. This is another thing like the Carter squared knife. This is pointy. Okay? So you, you kind of feel it and it's kind of a natural place for me to put my finger right here. And so I'm feeling it, yet it's pointy. Yeah, so it's kind of a sharp point. And I don't like that. I don't like getting dug here and here, unfortunately. So other than that, I mean, no blade play, no lock rock, blade centered, solid knife, interesting design. At first when I saw it, I really didn't want to have anything to do with it. Because I was really not sure how much I was really attracted to it right away. This is one of those ones I think, you know, you'll, you'll grow to like once it's in hand. As opposed to, um, you know, a lust, you know, attraction right off the bat when you see it. This is not that for me. But, you know, now that I have it in hand, I like it. Of course, I like the bigger, heavier knives, and this one's almost nine inches. You've got a great little thumb ramp area here. You've got a front choil for sharpening. That's good. The blade grind is interesting. The thumb ramp almost gives it a harpoonish style, but, of course, that would happen out here if it was more of a true heart but you know what i'm saying you kind of notice this uh in the styling cues piercing champ maybe not but it could probably do that and let me see if i got a little piece of paper around here 
Bowler M390, you know, but they're, you're you're paying for it. I wasn't starting off so cool, was I? But you're paying for it. I mean, it's it's 300 bucks for this knife. So, you know, ain't giving it away. There's your lockup. Eh, that's mm, 25 to 30%. It's fairly easy to disengage this lock bar, even though they're really not giving you much. They're really not giving you uh, a, much of a pass through here. You can see. But, mm, because of the width of between the between the scales, I guess, it's not that difficult. And it's not a real overly stiff lock bar. But it's medium. Uh, detent. Mm, let me get this away from the camera. Yeah, you can do that. You can, I, I can gravity flip it out. So it's definitely not a six and a half. Uh, it's probably a five and a half. Because it's not real easy to throw out. See what I'm saying? But it can be done. So I'm going to give it a five and a half on my D10 scale. Ten being impossible. And zero being it just falls out like that. Okay, but five and a half, yeah. And you know, I mean, it's pretty much in the realm of most flippers. From ZT to Wii to Kaiser to whatever flipper knives are out there. Uh, they all run in the four and a half to five and a half area. Every once in a while you'll get a six, six and a half. But, you know, can I fail this? Let's see if I can fail it. Come on. <laughs> okay, I can fail it. Okay. Yes, I can fail it. So, but no, just even really kind of a lazy flip like that uh, will get it to come out. So... And it's a something. It's a clunk. Uh, let's get you guys out of the way. But listen to it. Wow. Whew, yeah. It's kind of a muted thud. You know? When it comes out. Interesting. Whew. How's that drop? Well, let's see. Drop once it gets over the detent ball. It shakes down pretty good, and I haven't played with the pivot, so this is just kind of pretty much factory setting. Yeah, I mean, it's it's nice, and at least the detent ball doesn't hit late like it does on some knives, and therefore, you know, I mean, that's where it hits, right there. That's the detent ball. A lot of knives are, are more like that, and so basically... Sometimes the flipper tab's already passed you by the time it gets over there and drops, which puts you in danger once the flipper tab has gone by of the blade actually dropping on your thumb. So this one, no, this this is good. Actually, I mean, uh, Zell and his thing was saying Goody didn't mean that for this to be some little flipper toy, but you know what? It'll work. <laughs> It'll work. And... I mean, what a what a monster. What a beast. This thing's a beast. It really is. I like the pocket clip design and everything. <sighs> Obviously, right hand tip up only. I mean, I like the pocket clip design. It's just right there on that tip. <sighs> it's, it's just a little pointy. And back in here is a little pointy too. Now, this is, this is fine. That flipper tab, you think that's big enough? It's not jimmed. It's very intuitive. But it, it's a big honker, isn't it? Maybe could have been taken down a 30-second. But, you know, I mean, here's where your finger lands. So it's really a comfortable area uh, for your finger to land. And, it, and it, the ergos are good. It's a honker of a blade. It's a big boy. It's a big boy. Yeah, it comes in this box. Ferrex. They don't put the number of the knife on the outside of the box. And then 
inside. You can tell you're getting something special because this is not the standard Wii uh, knife box. So you open it up. But they're really not... See, here's your microfiber cloth and everything. Here's your paperwork. But there's no, like, you know, special card or something giving the, the knife number on it or anything, which I thought was a little... I thought it was a little odd because it is a numbered knife and it's they're only making 300 of them so that how weird was that I don't I don't know that was I expected at least to be a card not just their normal paperwork hmm yeah in any case kind of like you know the wasabi as well that's a numbered knife as well and I got 104 300 but, and so there are only going to be 300 of these. And it came packaged the same way as the Ferox. So, it is what it is, my friends. But that is a big, old, long backspacer all the way around. I don't mind that. It protects the blade. Um, the extra weight, what do you think? Half ounce, maybe, at the most. Uh, it's worth it. To me, it's worth it. I'm just... I'll go back to this. Bitch on these and bitch on this. Other than that, uh, I really like the knife. Look at the design. I mean, you don't see the back of the blade here, and it flows all the way around. All the way around. Could the, could the flipper tab have been a little shorter? Yeah, and you could have made it a little thinner. But, you know, I think this whole thing, the whole thought process is it's a brute. It's a brute. So there you go. Give you the link to White Mountain Knives. Maybe they'll still have some in stock. Maybe someone somewhere online will. If not, you're going to have to catch it on the secondary market. So that makes it uh, a little bit more difficult. But I don't know that I've been seeing these Wii Knives necessarily just skyrocket in price. Uh, even if they are a limited run. So... I probably wouldn't be too concerned about really having to pay the big premium like you would a Spyderco Sprint Run, you know, where they almost double on the secondary market. I think you're good. In any case, it is. It's a real, it's a real bad boy. It is. All right. Hey, I'm going to let you go. Hey, Flanagan, what do you think? Time to let him go? Hell yeah. We'll be back. But, yeah, I, I do like it overall. You know, a couple of them corners, a little edgy. Uh, but it's going to be really, do you like the design or not? That's what it's going to boil down to. And do you carry bigger, heavier knives? Is that your thing? And that's a whole nother. You know, that's just part of this whole deal. All right, let you go. Hey, thanks, guys, for dropping in. You know what we do around here. We love them knives, so you guys stay sharp.